Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to our first episode of just a development vlog I want to do. So we're going to be making a 2D, not 2D, it's going to be 3D. It's going to be a fixed perspective RPG and a fixed perspective scroller RPG. So uh, games like these are Maple Story, uh, Ragnarok Battle Offline, uh, so many arcade games. Uh, so yeah let's get started with this today what we're going to do is find some assets because i don't think i'm going to be spending time making my own 3d models yet so i'm going to find some 3d models in the unity asset store so if we go there we can actually go to environment and we can click free only so we can find uh the free stuff there's a what is this medieval town so for this game I want to give it a medieval feeling so something like this would actually be pretty pretty cool for the game so let's go ahead and download a bunch of things and then the later things we don't use we can just delete them I remember there is somewhere is um, Baker's house which is a pretty cool style because it's quite cartoony let's go find that after this finish oh here's the Baker's house we already made some we, we have talked about making inventories we have made a, a database and with this game i finally want to start putting things together uh, so here you will be able to learn about character movement combat system what else uh, leveling up upgrading items i guess lots of stuff uh, but yeah uh, i would like to share with you my process oh what is this this looks nice yeah and whenever i start a project i just download random stuff that i think will be useful in the in the game so maybe we can do some stage design or some level design and i just need one more thing i need trees because i like having some trees okay so i found this one the creator is called sky Fin cat i think they have the, that tree in the background that is what I want yeah the, the middle one so I'm going to be importing this oh and of course we also need a character so let's find three models free only mm, characters and okay unity Chan is very cool but it's not the style I want um, you know what I'm going to use some time to make my own character but for now let's just use anything how about this? i just i remember there is a this guy yeah it's just demo let's use it i think yeah i will be using these but in the future i will be making my own character and yep yeah just remember guys there's a lot of things on the asset store you can use so make use of the asset store so now what we want to do is start making our scene so first of all i'm gonna make a plane In this plane i'm going to extend it maybe to be 20 not two, 20 20 20 so i don't want to use um i don't want to use a terrain i think that's not necessary for a 2d scroller remember this is like a 2d scroller but with 3d models we have the baker house so we just go to the prefabs and here's the baker house and this might be a little too big i'm not sure yet let's create a cube so we can compare because we know a cube is a one times one times one object so Oh, and this let's position the plane back to zero and this back to zero so if we if we think of one unit in unity as a meter then this door is approximately approximately two meters which is fine i guess so the baker house is all right in scale uh, we have a barrel so we can turn around a little bit we can see yeah there 
um, gonna place this a little bit. Nope. We have a medieval house. Let's see how that looks. Mm, not yet. Not yet. We have some buildings. I like this color. It's so like how to how to say this is quite realistic. I don't know. And I think this one is more cartoony. So I want to keep this style more than this so i'm not gonna use this right now let's see if maybe we can use some of the other things though the card i think if later on we change the texture it can actually match pretty well so i'm just gonna put that around there somewhere we have any other house i don't think we have any other house so i'm just gonna duplicate this one so Control v Control d and we pull it somewhere else We'll rotate it a little bit so it looks a bit different so town exteriors uh, we have uh, buckets actually we can preview here what we have we have bucket barrel cart we have fences so this is oh food we have food and we have grass okay that's nice that's very nice we have hay which is very nice too a lantern mushrooms okay so here's a lot of things we can use this is a very good package yeah um uh, sacks and things we have signs for for our houses so we're just gonna put this here We downloaded a well. Um, this well is somewhere around Cartoon Low Poly Water Well. And we have a demo. That was just the scene I want the mesh. Water well. Okay. I think this water well is actually a little bit too big. So I'm going to scale it down here. So instead of zero points, let's, let's see. If a tenth, no, now it's a well for ants. So let's do 0 0.005. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's place it down there. In Unity, if you would like to move something to a vertex specifically, you see, for example, um, this cube, if we place it at 0 0.5, is exactly the vertices of this cube are exactly touching our plane so if i just put this here and then i press v for vertex v and drag something it's going to snap to it to all the vertices automatically and i can take down the take out away that and you, and now you see that the well is exactly at the height of the plane and that's because my pivot point is not it's not uh, on the bottom of it so it's harder for us to position the well specifically on top of the plane so yeah, there's a little trick you have I'm gonna put this between the two, the two buildings now I want some trees oh and by the way we can take a look at how it's looking here let's do this like this gonna select the camera put it up a bit rotate on x down there there you go and we can move to see we're getting somewhere so okay next step trees i love trees i like trains so here is skype mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have prefabs habitat forest I think the one I like is uh, this one. No, it's not this one. Um, pine. I'm sure it's not a pine. Uh, let's go with this. So we put it here. And it's also a little bit too big. So uh, I'm gonna just scale it down here. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's 
something somewhere around here in the background. Zero. And there we're starting to get shape. Uh, we have something. I remember there's grass. Yeah, this one. So I'm going to place that down there. Oh, but um, it needs to have transparency. So to have um, we don't have transparent transparent shaders here. Diffuse. Yeah. So it looks like that. So we can have some grass coming out of the well. There you go. And let's put some ferns. I remember we have ferns. Fern here. Let's place it somewhere around. And if you ever wonder how they make these kind of uh, models, actually, they're just couple faces and they just have a very well drawn texture on top and then you do the same on the other side and you get something like that looks like a very complex 3d model but it's actually just a few faces with a good texture and and a transparent shader so we're almost done with this little stage we have here i'm going to put this back a little further here and where is I want to put this back in zero so zero is there so I want to pull everything back so that this part here matches zero so is it there yeah so now we need the character and we're almost done for today's vlog because i need to go out it really looked like a footman of warcraft 3 if you ever play warcraft 3 uh there's this very basic character yeah this guy there's this very basic character which is a unit of the human race and it's like the cheapest unit you can get um, let's place it there and I want this 90 degrees zero yeah and it looks really really similar <laughs> then uh, one more thing that's uh, zero 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 so I want this well to be uh, uh, you know what that's fine let's do it like that so then we're going to place the main camera inside our little guy here um, I believe this model already has some animation so we're going to be using it on the next episode but right now I think we're pretty much done for today yeah. so if we play now nothing happens because we have no scripts but yeah, <laughs> I just press play because I wanted to uh, and if we move our character the camera is going to follow us yeah and we have something look so if you see here on the right we're starting to get something feels like a 2d scroll so it's like we're in a town maybe there will be some npcs here maybe you can press the well to fill your water bottle uh you can click on the door here to go in the shop and buy some stuff or maybe the shopkeeper was just going to be standing out there and you can buy without getting the shop. We're gonna discuss that in in next episodes of this developing vlog. And yeah, this was more an introduction than anything else. But anyways, I enjoy I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. And give me some ideas if you have something in mind. I think this is a perfect opportunity for us to make a game together. Uh and also tell me things you would like to learn about so we can use those and make tutorials about it so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye peace